God wants us to have his spirit without measure. John 3:34 For he whom God has sent speaks the words of God for God does not give the spirit by measure. Jesus hosted the presence of the Holy Spirit and it was immeasurable. So Jesus moved in the presence of God Jesus moved in the power of the Holy Spirit uh, such that it was evidently seen and he had an unction of the spirit which was immeasurable as in it was great and powerful and Jesus did many wonderful uh, works of God by the empowering of the Holy Spirit in fact acts chapter 10 and verse 38 records this how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him so because God was with Jesus he could do powerful miracles he could heal people you know he delivered people he he uh, uh, worked supernatural wonders uh, in people's lives and he was able to do all of this because he was carrying the holy spirit without measure uh, in his ministry and this day the most beautiful uh, truth uh, for us to know is that god has given us the same holy spirit who did miracles along with jesus so you and i carry the same holy spirit who has an experience of touching people's lives and therefore we can begin to yearn for uh, the holy spirit uh, and uh, immeasurable amount of the holy spirit in that so we can also have the holy spirit without measure the way jesus uh, walked with the holy spirit but how can we have uh, this anointing of the holy spirit upon our lives uh, the first thing for us uh, to have is the baptism of the holy spirit and jesus talked about this that his disciples would experience the baptism of the holy spirit once he ascended up into heaven and it happened in acts chapter 2 but that was the first time when the disciples had to tarry for the outpouring of the holy spirit but today you and i don't have to wait we can ask ask for it as children of god and we can be baptized in the holy spirit and once that is done you know we can uh, can flow in the gifts of the spirit we can pray uh, in the spirit we can yield our lives in in many different ways uh, by by giving more time for the word of god more time for prayer and just aligning ourselves to the work of the spirit and even as we do these things uh, to obey god you know we can expect a greater measure of the holy spirit in our lives just the way jesus had let's pray together heavenly father we thank you that you have already given us so oh god your holy spirit and lord as your children lord we want more of your holy spirit father god in our lives and god we pray that we will be filled to overflowing god with your holy spirit and god that you will accomplish your powerful works through our lives we thank you god for doing it in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.